It's taken us a little while, but we're pretty good on the timing now. We're getting there. Well, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce this one because after Jason pulled the Natty Daddy on me, which unfortunately ended up being good. Hey, you never know. Sometimes sometimes you can pull one out. Oh, wait, wait. 1.21 liquid measures. That's where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> See? We're getting way too comfortable with this, apparently, because we just keep forgetting. Yeah, we, we, we keep forgetting where we're at, what we're doing. Yes, it's all good. It's we're we're seeing you are. it happens. Yeah, we we're old. We drink a lot, so yeah, <laughs> we forget <laughs> shit. It's Imagine kinda, that we forget shit. That's yes. that's that's our that's should be yeah, our motto. That, yeah, that should be. <laughs> we forget shit. We drink beer and we forget shit. Okay. That's our motto. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Last, like I said, I had a treat for Jason. So here it is. Patched blue ribbon. You remember these the commercials for that in the seventies, man? Yeah. You know, you're you're a kid and the marketing comes on and it's it's flashy in the seventies. You're sitting here in nineteen seventy nine watching TV, Pat's Blue Ribbon Beer. Oh. And it, it's like, oh, that looks good. And then you grow up and then you try it. Yeah. And then you realize not so good. Yeah, you don't you don't really grow up and try it. You you get to the point where you can sneak a beer. <laughs> yes. And yes. you know yes. your your friends' parents know that you're going to sneak the beer. So what do they do? They leave this junk in the fridge for you and put their good beer somewhere <laughs> else and hide their good beer in, in, in the closet in the refrigerator. They keep it in there so you won't get in it. Yes. <laughs> this this is so truthful. <laughs> it's not yeah. even funny. Well, but it, it, it's probably been that long since, you know, since I've had a PBR. So this is going to be a treat for us tonight. I, you know, we're looking at, you know, probably 20 years plus since, since we've... Uh, Easily 20 years for me. Yeah, since we've tried this. So we're going to... But we're going to do like we do everything else. We're going to give it a fair shake. We're going to give the, the good old... <laughs> shake your back. And I, I even heard that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We haven't even had that much to drink yet. No, no, it's just, it's, it's memories. It's memories. Uh, I know this is going to hurt, but. Uh, yeah, um, but, but I heard that PBR is trying to make a resurgence. They've even come out with PBR in a bottle. A bottle. What? Yes, in a bottle. Dumps. It's never been a bottle. I, I, I've seen it in a bottle. Wow. So, you know, maybe they're trying to change things up and maybe they're trying to come back. You know, I mean, established in Milwaukee in 1844. And we have, okay, direct from the can. This is the original Paps Blue Ribbon Beer, Nature's Choicest Products Provided to Prized Flavor. Only the finest of hops and grains are used, selected as America's Best since 1893. And hasn't gotten any better since. Oh, oh, wait, oh, that wasn't part of the can. Uh, no, that wasn't I'm part of the can. Well, it probably hasn't, but we're going to uh, crack that bad boy. We're going to be able to try it and crack it, and we're going to see what America's Choice was like in 1893 because apparently they haven't uh, they haven't changed their flavor since then. So I'm hoping that 1893 had some, uh, you know, had some nice uh, flavoring. And I want to go ahead and you know make sure that I. Get a little extra this time since I kind of overdid it on the or underdid it maybe on the natty daddy. Yeah, but I didn't mind it after all. On the <laughs> yeah, one. So, so so it all worked out good, you know. It's, it's like, hey, it's great. great. PBR action. I know. Uh, you know, it's, it's yeah, not. That, that looks about right, right there. Nope, that's what that looks like. Thank you. Hey, it actually came out pretty even like that. I time. know. I know. It's straight out. It's clear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not super clear, honestly. I mean, it's not it's not as pale as, as a lot of the stuff that we've that we've looked at. Um, but you can you know you can see the carbonation flow now. The typical lager. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's a typical lager. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> dogs already starting to hurt from the first sniff. Oh, Is what it, was what was that with the Natty Light sweet twinge of skunkiness? Yeah, sweet. it's back. Okay, all right, it's well. back. 
And so we've got the sweet tinge of skunkiness. It's, it smells of roadkill. It, uh, yeah, that smells horrible. Um, it's, it smells pretty bad. Uh, so we're going to, uh, you know, forget the smell. Uh, don't, don't smell it. And honestly, you're probably, if you're going to buy it, you're not even going to pour it in a glass and look at it. You're going to drink it straight out of the can, which is what we probably should have done. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just going to go ahead, you know, because we want to look at it just like we do everything else and give it a show. So uh, It's pretty. I mean, the way their, I'm telling you, the way their carbonation floats up on that, that makes it a pretty beer. Yeah. It, you know, and the color isn't as weak as what I thought it was going to be. No, it, it, it really not. The color is not as weak as what well, I thought. Well, it's not it was a light beer. It's like the Natty Daddy. Yeah, it's, it's it's not light, so it hasn't had all the goodness taken out of it. Thank God, pretty much, because I don't know if we could handle a PBR light. I don't think there would be anything to a PBR light. <laughs> Isn't that called water? Yeah. <laughs> it's water with a little food color. It's just let's flavor. just let's we're going to try. Let's just do it. Um, I'm nervous, maybe. Mm. Not as horrible as what I thought it was going to be. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you right, right now. It's it's not as bad as what I remembered. I cannot believe I'm about to say this. Um, I would, right now, straight up, telling all the world who loves Bud Light, I would pick PBR over Bud Light. Oh, oh, God, oh, oh, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, it's not good by any means, but it's not bad <laughs> by any means. It's, it's, it's the middle of the road between good and bad. It's, it's, it's teetering right on the fence. It's, yeah, I'd die. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, I'm, I'm speechless two episodes in a row. Just. Uh, wow. What, 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 what have we done? You For know, people that know me in real life, this is an yeah, accomplishment because we, we I get, talk all the time. We we get the high end fancy beers, and you know, you drink some and, and won't shut up about it. And then we get the uh, you know the the little cheap buck fifty beers, and uh, can't talk. It's great. <laughs> I thought this is what we. This, if you can get past the smell, that's the thing. That yeah, just don't pour it. Just, just pop the top, drink it straight out of the can. I, I'm, it smells of weak old roadkill. But the taste, it has flavor. That's the thing. Bud Light has no flavor. I, yeah, mean, I want to drink water. If I want to drink water, I want to drink water. I want to drink water. And I keep, I keep saying Bud Light. That goes for Coors Light as well. Yeah, because they were both. That goes to for Natty Light as well. Yeah, they were all right there at the at the bottom. I know. mean, there's flavor here. There's something I can taste. That's what I look for. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm actually feeling it on the entire part of my tongue. I am, you know, I mean, it's, it's nothing complex. I'm not like tasting every different barley and grain that they put in there, but I'm tasting it. You know, I'm getting a hand of hops at the end of it. That's the thing that surprises me. Yeah. So, I, wow. I'm, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not switching from. Yingling is my daily drinker, but no, <laughs> you know. But if uh, you know, once again, if I oh, there's that, there's that. Yeah, that's the carbonation. Yeah, you know, you know. But once again, if I if I'm at the convenience store, you know, and I need something quick, as a friend of ours said, it gives me that bubbly in the back of my neck. <laughs> I don't like that about it. Yeah, but there's the, the, but there is flavor. Yeah, first going down, it's fine. It does get, I see exactly what he was talking yeah. about now, that bubbly at the back of the neck, it's right there. Yeah. Not so much a burp, it's just kind of that half burp. It's yeah. just kind of something waiting right there, kind of wanting to build up, but it never quite makes it. And, and that could be quite, I mean, that could be the way that it's, you know, the carbonation is brewed with or the fact it's released. That, and the fact that it hit Natty Day on the way down, you know, well, I'm yeah. sure it's still sitting in our stomach. Yeah. Good, because as you can tell, as we've said before, you know, we sit here, on, on our designated night, and we, we film these, you know, four, five, six, ten in a row, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever we have available. Yeah, whatever we have available that week. And, you know, so we film these, and, you know, we, we take a break in between them 
so we kind of clear the palate and make everything fair. But still, we're you know we're you know we're tasting several different beers in one night, which and I'm uh, you know I'm really happy with the PBR. I, I am pleasantly surprised with PBR yeah. because I from what I remember it it was hard to choke down back in the day. They may have changed their formula for all we know. It's been 23 years. Uh, yeah, they may have. And if you have, you did a good job. Yeah. PBR, I'll um, give you a thumbs up. I'm, yeah. I'm at the same as the Natty Day. It's right at the same. It, it is. It's right there. It's not It's not good, but it's not bad. It's, it's you know, it's very borderline of the of the cheap beers. You know? Well, I tell you what. If I, had, if I were going to go out and buy a cheap beer because, my God, i got to have a beer. And I walk into my convenience store and they've got Bud Light and PBR sitting on the shelf. I'm getting a PBR. Well, I, I'm telling you right now, I'm right there with you. I want to take the PBR, one, because it tastes better than Bud Light. It has flavor. And two, most people won't want to try to drink it from me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're walking around an event like Wally Palooza in 2012, yeah, we still got your back, buddy. Uh -huh. If you're walking, you're walking around, around with a PBR, you ain't nobody gonna snatch that at you. Oh, no, no, you can set it right down on the table, and you come back, and it's still gonna be there. <laughs> but after, and you can about guarantee that there ain't been nobody's mouth on the can either. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They, they they looked at that blue ribbon and were like, "Whoa, wait, uh, I think I'm." Uh, That's a good idea for one of the By the way, it, we it might is. just be walking around with PBR, and people going, "What the hell is It that? is. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm giving them three. I, Right equal three and a half. Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm right there with the 90 Daddy on three and a half. I'm not sure what the alcohol content is on it. Um, it's it's I'm, obviously I'm, less because there's no stick to it. Yeah, uh, you know, I, but but the 90s at, at 6.0, yeah. I would say this one is probably the lower fives, maybe 5.2. I'm going to put it in the fours. It's probably gonna, it's, it's going to be around the same machine. I'm guessing about probably four, yeah. Machine. Yeah, it's somewhere it's somewhere right in that high four low five range. But it, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, three dollars, four dollars. You got you know forty eight ounces of, yeah. of PBR. If you can double fist that bad boy, you'd be good to get. If you're looking to party, don't waste your money on Bud Light unless you just want to sit around. I'm dogging Bud Light bad. Man. <laughs> you are. Jesus Christ, man. So I mean, it's really. <laughs> But a lot, we know you're never going to sponsor us. <laughs> and how's your bush? Unless you, know, like you, you change your formula or something. But you know, oh, it's water. It, it is, and we're we're just you know we're just say, we're sitting here telling you what we think about it. It's your opinion. That's all. I've got good friends that drink Bud Light. That's yeah. all they will have is Bud Light. I do too. I've got that friends. That don't mean I got to drink it with you. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap this one up. Yes, we are. And we're gonna finish the PBR. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's not a drain pour. It's definitely not a drain. It is not a drain pour. PBR. Holland Brewery, you did it wrong. You're our first drain pour, and we're drinking PBR. Yeah. Think about it. Yep. Think about it. Yes. I'm Don. I'm Jason. If you don't like it, it's not our fault. I like beer because it is good. I drink.